Hey guys, it's Doc, and today I'm going to do a review on bug traps and bug zappers. Let's compare the two of them. Let's talk about them. I've been promising this video forever, so hold on one sec. Hey guys, I'm going to keep this short today. Uh, I promised that I would do sort of a quick review on the bug trap and a bug zapper that I bought. My thoughts on the two of them real quick. Uh, I'm prepping my lawn for aeration. What's going I'm gonna have it, my lawn aerated and a few other things done by a company on Tuesday. So I gotta prep up my lawn. I wanna take it down and do different stuff. So click that subscribe button, turn on your bell so that you get notified when that video goes up. In the description down below, I'm gonna put a link to both of these, to two products, this product and another product. Uh, the product that I'm gonna, the other zapper I'm gonna show you, I have kind of an issue with. So I'm gonna link to a different product. Anyways, as you know, most of you may know, my yard backs up to a huge amount of woods. Uh, and I've been very fortunate that I've been able to tr uh, control most of my mosquitoes by spraying once a year. But this year I wanna try and cut down a little bit on the spraying, so I wanted to also do uh, the bug traps back here by the pool. So this is the uh, electronic fan traps that you sometimes you see. And what ends up happening is it has a light up at the top. It has a gap here, space here, and it creates a suction. So as the bugs fly towards the light, they get sucked down in. There's two little trap doors here that's, that open up and close. And then there's a mesh screen down here. So basically it just blows all the bugs down into this mesh screen over here. They usually die in about uh, 24 to 48 hours. This thing removed, this is removable down here. Oh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get off sometimes. I usually have to have a screwdriver to do it. But I already emptied it and I'll show you it real quick here in a second. But one thing I do, there is a note. Some people are saying that there are slots down here on the bottom. You can just tape those slots up if you're trying to catch little tiny gnats. The other thing I do is I put a little permethrin on the bottom <clears throat> and then I leave that rag in there <laughs> so that anything that gets in there gets exposed to permethrin right away. All right, so you can see the wide variety. I have a bunch of beetles, all kinds of moths, large mosquitoes, all kinds of stuff in here. I'm just gonna dump this over the side and it's not wet, this is dry, this is old, by the way. But uh, I leave that little rag in there. Put this back on, just turn it, and lock it into place. Now, these units do not have a day-night sensor. They say leave it on 24 hours a day. It costs like, um, I actually have mine on a timer. So I have one of these little Christmas light timers, and I have it come on. As the sun starts to go down in the sky, it comes on, and then it turns off like at 8 o'clock in the morning. But let me show you. Let me turn it on for you. It's pretty quiet. So it's a pretty quiet unit. Now, this is the large unit. Uh, I really, if you have any kind of bug problem, I really would go with the large unit. And I link to this actual unit, the black one, just like this. So... Let me grab the camera and show you. I'm going to show you a couple things on this. So here's the top. I, I just got an old bracket hanging it. There are your lights, your UV lights. It has a screen up here. The bugs get blown down in here. And you can probably, I don't know if you can see or not, see those little trap doors? Those trap doors sort of fall down, open and close. Uh, again, Nice little unit, nice and quiet. Now I'm gonna give you a little tip. My unit after a week started making kind of a rattle noise. And all I did is I took these screws out here and I moved this ring. So you can move this ring up and down and it sort of tightens up the unit and it quiets it back down. So if you get this thing, when I got it, it was perfectly quiet. After about a week and a half, I heard a little rattling. So I just, oh, again, I loosened up that ring and uh, moved that ring up and down. It doesn't affect anything, it doesn't hold, because these things go further down. So let me show you what I've done. Of course, you know, we've got the pool back here, the house is up here, and I've set these units up over here. Oh, that's stupid Jack Russell. <laughs> uh, so I've got this trap here, 
And then up high over here, you're gonna love how I rigged this thing up. This is just temporary until I figure out if I wanna keep this thing here. But this is a bug zapper, one of the cheaper bug zappers that you can buy. And uh, these things are fun to watch. <laughs> if you're a redneck, you gotta have a bug zapper. But this is one of those black flab bug zappers that you can get, and they're about 40 bucks. This is the larger unit. It does have a daytime sensor on this unit, but let me tell you the issue I have with it. See how it uses that mesh? It uses a mesh system in there and the bugs get trapped in there. And you can see, probably see all the bugs that are trapped in there. Now I've already knocked some of these bugs out. I have a little concern about not staying on top of this and <laughs> is that going to create a fire hazard? What's interesting about this unit is this side over here that faces the woods is just absolutely packed with bugs. It, the, the light, you can barely tell that it's on. It's a very low, uh, low light. But uh, I'm concerned that it might end up being some kind of fire hazard. So I prefer this unit over here, but I'm going to keep one of these up. Again, this unit over here, this unit comes with a one-year warranty on it. Uh, you can get replacement bulbs for it if the bulbs burn out. Uh, I just prefer, I kind of prefer this unit. Uh, the zapper is kind of, kind of scary to me. I am going to put, if you do want a zapper, I'm going to put a link to a zapper unit that instead of using the mesh, the sort of square mesh, actually uses rods so when a bug actually comes in contact with it it actually falls down so i think that's a better option it costs about 74 dollars including shipping this unit uh the extra large unit is about a hundred and i can't remember is 170 or 190 bucks including shipping but uh i really like the unit again like i said the only issue i've had with it let me get in close so you can see this. Is I had to take this ring here. And sometimes I'll even leave it like that. That works fine. But I'll sit here at night and I'll just watch bugs just constantly go into here. So again guys, uh, I'm getting ready to do aeration on my lawn plus something else that I'm going to put on video for you. So click that subscribe button so you don't mix it. Click turn on your bell. I'm gonna put a link in the description down to below to a web page where I sort of talk about this unit and the other unit. It'll both be on there. But again, just a real quick review. I'm very happy with this unit. It's nice and quiet, works really well. Had a ton of bugs inside of it, even though the weather is still cool. So, uh, that's about it. Talk to you later. Duh.